and I think it's silver and I actually think this is a um, a hawking bell. All right, it looks like I've uh, got a silver one here. Oh yeah, out again. I'm on a um, maize stubble field. It's been pretty windy, had a fair bit of rain. Ground is going to be pretty sticky. Um, not been on here before, so yeah, I've got about three hours. Don't know what it's going to be like. Fields around here have had some good stuff, so there's no reason why there shouldn't be anything here, but we'll give it a go. It's not too bad for a uh, first identifiable target. That there, I'm pretty sure, is a Jew's harp. Only have I found one before. It was a bit bent up, but this one don't look too bad. Pretty cool. Got a few bits of uh, rubbish in here. There's a lot of iron signals as well. Uh, it's going to be tough going. I reckon I have a uh, big pocket full of rubbish at the end of the day. Next target is a. Uh, I think that's a brass or bronze, should I say, ring, like a you know, a horse uh, harness brass bit. God, it's so sticky out. Should have brought a, uh, like a cloth with me to wipe them down. Never mind. Just got this button. Got a nice bit of gilt left on it. Don't normally bother with them, but got a little bit excited when I saw the gold. This looks like my first coin. It's just sticking out of the soil here. I say it's the first coin, it's probably going to be a button when I get it over. I don't know. It's a coin, it's toasted. But, it's still a coin. Another coin. Didn't have to move too far for this one. I think it's old. Wake up. Oh, I really need to bring a cloth with me. Oh, I don't think that's old at all. Sorry. I think that's just one of those uh, bigger 10 pence pieces. Another toasted coin. be a little silhouette of a monocon there but yeah that's about it Put another coin here just a, another toasted half penny probably toasted I mean I can't really tell I can't even see the thing but yeah it's probably gonna be Another coin, very very tiny, very very thin, and very very worn out. <laughs> it's a bit of a theme of today, all the coins are blank. Oh well. I thought this was a bit of rubbish when I first dug it up. Just sort of give it a bit of a wipe over because I saw that loop on there. I think it's silver, and I actually think this is a um, a hawking bell, or what's left of one. I think that's a silver hawking bell. And I might be wrong, but it's a tiny, tiny silver bell. <laughs> never, if it is, I mean, I've never found one before but might find out a bit better when I've cleaned it up but yeah 
That would be great if it is. Oh, I'm assuming it's silver. It looks silver. I'm just trying to see if I can wipe some of that stuff off it. Some of this mud. Yeah, I just wiped a bit of that mud off. And, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I think that's what it is. I'll have to get an ID on that one. But it certainly looks like it. But, yeah, that's good, that is. Another toasted coin. Well, at least I think it's toasted. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's going to be much coming off that. Looks like another coin. Just in the side there. That's not toasted. So it ain't old either. George the fifth half penny. Yuck. Nineteen fifteen. Right, it looks like I've uh, got a silver one here. Yeah, try and clean it. Well, not done a very good job of cleaning that. But to be honest, that looks... <laughs> it looks flat. Like the flipping copper coins that I've been digging up. Ugh. Rubbish. Well, it's silver, so it's good. But maybe when I uh, clean it off when I get home, I might be able to make something out on there, but... Oh dear. Oh, I'll keep going. And another coin. At least I think it's a coin. Oh, there's a well stuck on the back there. Might be a bit of detail on that one. Or maybe not. Just giving that one a bit of a wipe over it, and there is um, what looks like an angel on uh, one side of it. I can't make out the other side yet. Uh, yeah, that's uh, it's different. I've found one like that before. And another coin. worn out thing. I don't know what that is. Farthing maybe. Just got this lead token. Looks like there's a bit of a pattern on it. Nothing on the other side. Clean up and another coin. I think this is going to be toasted as well. There's a little bit of detail on there, I think. It's hard to see it for the camera, but I can see it with the naked eye. It's on the other side. I think that might be a farthing token actually. But it is in a bad shape. So. Yeah, well, I'll give it a close. But the rest of it, I, I can't really tell until I get home. Uh. This looks like a musket ball. Probably going to be my last find. Just going to detect the short distance over to the car. And then uh, that'll do. Not too bad for a three hour hunt. Uh, a few usual buttons. This one's got a uh, bit of gold gilt still left on it. Nothing on that side. Yeah. The, the token. It's 
a nice little sort of pattern on there as well. And something on the other side. A farmer's token. A few other coins, sort of Georgian. I know this one. These are tokens, these these two little ones, so I'm guessing 1600s possibly. There is a date on this, but it's so hard to see. Uh, it's George III, and the date I think is 1773. That's a farthing. This one, it was pretty interesting. I thought it was a half penny worn out, but no, there's a an angel blowing a trumpet on there. And sold at the spa house. Can't quite tell what that bit there says. Uh, yeah, it's got a bit around the outside. It's pretty cool. Had a a Jew's harp. That's only the second one I've ever found. It's better. This is better condition than the other one I got. It was a bit bent up. Yeah, nice little bit of history there. It's got 17, 1800s, I think that would be. One silver coin for the day. I think it's a sixpence. There is, but it's been bent into a love token. There is a very minuscule amount of lettering left on there. So I'm just guessing that's a sixpence, although it does feel very thin. It is very thin. And then this, I mean, this I know it's it's knackered, but this is a this is a great find. This is a um, I'm pretty sure this is a Tudor hawking bell. So they'd attach this to the birds, obviously, a bell to you know alert them where they are. So this one will have to go to the FLO, and uh, yeah, they'll decide whether that's treasure or not. Even in its uh, broken up state, that's that's just how it is. Hoping to get back on that field again. There's got to be more stuff in there. Um, you know, I did get a load of rubbish as well, but yeah, you know, I'm going to try and get back up there in the next few days. Anyway, take care. I'll see you all again soon.